Hello, how to do? Is your bun bun here? I keep moving. So we e? Things have changed around on my screen now. I got to confuse. How are you all doing? I'm gonna do some daddy daddying. Let's continue with our story. Why well, there's so many saves? Oh my god. Welcome. You've got dads. Get ready on the dad book. Okay. Just hang on, I'm setting up my check stuff so I'm here so I can keep tabs and everything. That's running alright, that's running good. Sweet. I ditched tricky. Oh! <laughs> Hiya, toasty toast. How to do? I needed my dream bunny. You needed your dream bunny. Oh, I appreciate that. We're in dad book. You're just in time anyway, because I've got to choose another daddy. I don't know if I want to repeat these daddies or do the other daddies. Can you hear me alright though? There is an Aegis in There is an Aegis in my penis! What? <laughs> hey Pluto, how to do? I'll get all these shady yaddy yaddies out soon. Yeah, we can hear you. Kill! Uh, da -da 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 -da. I did Damien last time. I have, I've done Craig, Matt, and Damien already. I haven't done these four, unless we want to try and work on one of these guys. So that means if I did Damien, it'll be a day, uh, day, day. Oh, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> Hi, Tricky. Hey, Vampy. Hey, lovely. Are we listening while working? Oh yeah, don't get too excited at work, Pluto, listening to what's happening. Hiya, Fluffy! Hiya, Kara! Hiya, all your radars! I'm, I'm waiting for the moods. Hey, Nomi! First time chat- oh. Hey, Jen! Oh, you touched my ta -la -la. Nomi just touched me! <laughs> Shaking the bootangs your way. <laughs> Thank you, Nuki Wuggy. We're just um, getting ready to choose a deity. Oh my lordy. I wonder who that is. Hi Trina. I'm gracing you with my presence. You're welcome. I love that one. Uh, fine by me bunny deserves all the love. <laughs> so I ditched you. <laughs> oh good. Um, we're going to, yeah, I don't know. I've already dated these three and I've got these four left unless we want to work on one of these. I say Damien, but she's already done Damien. You can go on more than one date, though. Here it comes. Damien or Robert. I haven't done Robert. So please this is a, a tricky. If you would like to win a game. You might own it, you might oh, whoa. Own it's a glitch eater. Hello, oh. Ooh, we dating. Oh, Baba touched me. Hey, Baba. You're gonna let me allow it. I'm still trying to work out all the words that are still hidden. Damien's second date. Oh! Hey, Baba. First time chat off. Yay! Just getting all these. Getting all these farts out of the way. You know, Tricky needs to let go. How's it going everyone? And oh, thank you for the shout out. Always, always. Hell yeah, Damien's second date. Oh, getting a Damien's second date. Redeemed Guide the Road 3000 to Emirates. That's like bands from me. <laughs> That's banned. 
You know, I had a feeling that was gonna happen at some point. Nugu. I'll be like, quick everyone, one away. She doesn't dance yet. What y'all talking about? Gotta spread the love to get the love, right bunny honey. I I like supporting all the little peoples, not the the, the big giant boob attention peoples. I haven't even like gone to that channel. Only thing bad about Bunny is she tells me off for sleeves. Yes I do! All them sh all them shouts are going. Yeah that, that's why I haven't um, done the second date yet. Gotta let everybody have their turns. Do we get there? Do we get there? Vampy, everyone gets shout outs. Everybody gets shout out. You get a shout out. You get a shout out. Everybody get a shout out. Shells and fluffs just to. What? What the hell? What y'all doing? Yeah, I need to do that. Oh my gosh. I'm getting blued in the ear. Thank you guys. I didn't need to do that. Bad, bad fluff. <laughs> Cryptic in the background going, bad fluff. Bad fluffy. Alright. We're going to do Damien. Holy moly, it's a 20. You know, I forgot to go on this screen so I can actually see what I'm freaking doing. Oh my god. We love you guys. Oh, I love those two. That's for making the emotes for me. I really... It's alright. Dating Damien again. Emotes no cost $20. Bad fluff. <laughs> emotes no cost $20. I don't even have a price on them. I just say whatever. I don't care. I like drawing things. That's why they don't cost $20. So I have to go back to workies now. I'm gonna be looking all good, shells. Have a good day at works. Has the charity started? Yes. Yes. Have I got my yobies on? Yeah, but there's a different way to the side. Oh, yes. Hold up, hold up. I need a... Where is it? On this side. What side? Right there. Fuck, it's mixed. It's right, right next to the chat. It's right next to the chat. I've got your good chat on that side. Oh, that little thing. Okay, there's a little goal bar. I mean, it would have been alright over here because the only time it gets covered is when there's shout outs. Or like here. Hold up. Hang on, I'm just gonna, just gonna move a thing. Hold up. You can either have it up there or like down by the bun bangs. Not like, not like, not like right down there. Will you freaking move it? Oh my god! Jesus! I'm trying to help? Fuck's sake! People, See, stop, I'll put a gap. I'll put it. What is happening? What? What did. No! No, 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 no! Does it. Can it. Does it show now? Is it looking alright? Does it thing? Yeah. <laughs> you would have seen me like moving this little thing. Oh, my turtle sex! Oh my god! What are you doing? Alright, what did I miss? I want to get Dream Daddy, but I... Has a charity... Yes, charity started. Baba is not here. I'm Noog. Just tipped a dollar and... 1.1. Oh, 1. 1. oh my god. Baba. Oh no, I forgot Gamer's allowance. My upside down. I want to get Dream Daddy, but I don't have a laptop. I'll make... It. What just hit? What was that? I'm trying to catch up on the chat. Oh my gosh, why are you guys tipping me? Tip We're doing a charity thing. Look, there's a little ghosty goo right by my bunnies in my face. Put it there. Put it there. Help help out the charity for the homeless. For the thankmas. For the thankmas of the homeless and give them all the hoses. Finger slipped on the dono. Bloody hell. I want to donate, but I don't even have a dollar to my name. It's okay. It's like, you don't, you, like, even just sharing it, talking about it. There's a link there to have a look at it. 
every, every anything anything is much appreciated and helps towards it just getting it out there making people aware we've got like a tiny girl we've got our team we have cryptic we have fluffy and me same here oh all your fingers are slipping everybody got a finger slip i want to donate too but i was overspending during your last high train yeah, you went a little crazy, eh? Hold up, what am I doing? I'm damieing. I'm damieing. Going on a date. I'm supposed to be going on a date. Everybody doing things, and I'm supposed to be going on a date. I love you. You guys are all amazing. I'll just make sure I can see the chat properly. Uh, we would much rather you guys donate to the charity instead of us. Yes. This whole week from the 1st to the 9th is all for charity that we're raising for. Sorry, I didn't see charity option or whatever split dono between the two. It's alright. Uh, the little ghost was hiding behind the chat. He's always hiding. Um, I had a lot of fun hanging with Damien the other day. I wonder what he's up to. I want to donate, but I'm busy eating. Oh, what you eating? Did you send me a picture? You food prawn me. I open up Dad book and start writing him a message when Amanda walks in the door. Dad, you get a letter. How do you do the donate on the phone? Uh, the links. The links should be popping. Bloody hell, Cheesy! What the heck? Thank you for the buddies. And thank you for coming in. Pie and chips. Oh, I want a pie and chips. Can we get a Cheezles? Can we shout at Cheezles? Oh, is it from Grandma? Mm. No. <laughs> Hey, howdy, honey buns. What the frick was that? What did I just miss? I just like heard something really weird. What the heck was that? And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, whoa. Oh, that's the thing. I was like, what's happening? Mew would be proud. <laughs> yeah, he so would. He's like, really, really, really. But you got $5 on the charity. Oh, is that what that little sound was? I was like, where the ding? Where the ding at? Hello, dear. This should... Yeah, that should make up for it. Aww. Thank you. Oh, look at that. The little ghosty thing's going up like little bits. This is going to the dump. Sorry, wish I could drop more to the chair. It's okay. I really appreciate that. I think I'll be, I'll be, I'll be a little, a little bit nicer to you. A little bit, just because you're first. A little bit. Bunnies everywhere. Yes. Hi, Nugget. How's it going? Welcome on in. <clears throat> oh my God, that's some fancy writing from Damien. That that's a lot of writing from Damien. That that's a that that's a that, that that's a lot. Nah, I ain't reading that. That's a lot. He shot me in my dick. What a dick. Look at this. Damn, Damien, my love. I'm going good. Hey, Crypto, how goes the stream? Shot you in the dick. <clears throat> Amanda and I both look up from the leader. Wow, he's good. So you're gonna catch a movie with him? Yeah, I better message him on dad book and let him know. My my one and only love in my life, Damien. I'm gonna do just chillin'. That's some sexy font, Damien. Yeah, Pluto. Just has to come and look at I wasn't gonna I couldn't even really read that. It's too fancy for my eyeballs. Yeah, better message him on dad book and let him know. Man just slaps my laptop shut. You have to write him back. A real letter. But my handwriting looks like two toddlers fighting over a crayon! <laughs> hey. 
There you have to. He wrote you a letter. That's so cool. Will you help me? I need to class this up. Father, I was made for this. Here's what you do. Find tickets to a show that you two will like, then enclose them in the letter. Oh, that's classy. Amanda and I hop onto my laptop and per, per what per you show times per you show times. I can't read. Just so you know, I'm very sucky at reading. <clears throat> he doesn't seem to. He doesn't seem like a romantic comedy kind of guy. There. So just so everyone knows that who is whoever's just popped in, we're doing a charity for Thank Miss as well. I hear clapping. I hear the clapping. Holy fucking hell, what the hell? Fluffstar with a $50 to the charity. Oh my. Fluff! God, you're amazing! Look at that little guy fly. <laughs> oh. What did we have our go at? Like, 100. Jesus Christ, you almost filled it all up already. We only set it at like a hundred. The wrong thing. So we've had to delete them. So the clips that don't make sense, we delete. Unless you write in there what it means. So make sure you get it at the right time, otherwise the mods will go through and delete it. Mods are weird. Mods are assholes. She's asleep. We're good. <laughs> mods oh. are weird. Mods are assholes. Oh, Trina. Thank you. All good. It's going to a great cause. Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> All the things happening to Fluff, as always. Fluff is an awesome streamer. And he's part of he's part of the team as well, helping with the charity. Can't believe someone clipped that. It sounded interesting, I must say, it sounded super interesting. Here's one. Vampire Crusade 2. Evil never dies. Oh my lordy! We're clapping. You got Sir Tricky, Fluffs, and Trina, and Tricky. <laughs> it's Tricky. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Wait, huh? Huh? Evil never dies. I don't know, that sounds kind of stupid. Oh. Actually, it's a critically acclaimed exploration into the innu of existence. It really turns the vampire troop on its head. Really? Nah. It's just lots of blood and vampire titties. <laughs> vampire titties! Should have done anonymous. It's all my word game fun's gone to a good course. <laughs> it's all good. Your word games are awesome. If you haven't seen Tricky. He, he hides words in his chat. And you get like little game prizes and it's really really cool. I just like writing random stuff. <laughs> no, I can already feel the annoyance of Damien of that vampire movie. Laugh my ass off. Vampire titties! Well, let's roll the dice. I purchase the tickets and print them out, then sit down at the table with Amanda to try drafting a nice letter. I start writing. Damien! Oh, here we go, guys. What are we saying to Damien? Yes, I wonder what those random words that bunny types are. Fuck sake, tricky. Oh, don't overspend. Yes, don't overspend nothing. Boobs! What are we writing to Damien? I do hope that this letter finds you in good health. Hey, good morrow to you on this fine eve. <laughs> Too late, huh? Would rather support you guys and your charities than me. Well, you've got one coming up too, right? Multitasking, eating, well... Multitasking, eating while penis spending money. Penis money. Got the penis money happening. Okay, one, two, or three. Vampire today! <laughs> it's alright, I like that now. Vampire today's! Yep, Saturday with any luck. Ooh -wee. Somebody give me a number. We're writing a letter to Damien. We need to know. I do hope this letter would be the right choice, but hey, just sounds right. Hope this letter finds you in good health. Well, had to get the money some way. 
Make sure you keep enough. Okay, I'll do that one because that's the only one that's come up. Good one! What's the next? Oh my god. Just make sure you keep enough for you and gender. Yes, please. Look after yourselves. Make sure you got enough for you guys first before you do anything else. Hey, remember when your son tried to cask off a Montalado? The cask of a Montalado, that kid? You being good? I must confess of my amateur control of the written word. Three? Okay. Jeez, Dad. Have some faith in yourself. Okay. We're trucking along. Let them know how you're feeling. You find me in good spirits, for I felt very much the same after our last encounter. I did very much enjoy the adventure we found ourselves on the last we met, or that earlier shit was pretty messed up. Right, gotta jump and get some. You gotta jump and get some turtle sex sleeping. I uh, need to be good husband to look after poorly Jen. Have an awesome stream, buddy. No, thank you, thank you, Tricky, for always having a great stream, for raiding in, for the donors, for everything. You guys are awesome. You got. I'm getting turtle sex everywhere. Everywhere is turtle sex in my ear. Did we do- did I do this one? One, two, three? Or I just got distracted by the turtle sexies? Two! Hmm? Not bad. Good action E sentence. Ask him to hang out already! True art takes time, Amanda. Well, true art takes turtle sex. Well, a strange turn of events. I found myself in a mood of the situation at hand. Uh, I like Brugel's landscape with the fall of Icarus. I find myself lost in your details. Or let me um, get at that. Oh, there's a turtle emotes! The little turtle moaning emotes. So we got one, two, three. Hopefully Damien doesn't think we're complete weirdos. And gives us some squirt. what we're here for. Two. Hmm. I feel like we're in a thing. Dad, whoa. I saw it on TV. I am not an act I am not an actually intelligent person. <laughs> Bring it home, Pops. So let me take you out. I got two tickets to the movies. I would very much enjoy your company accompanying me to the cinema. Well it would bring me great pleasure to escort you to the cinema. Oh it's scalding. Man, Damien is a goth daddy. So the funniest thing just happened. Hey, Trinok! What happened? I'm scared. One, two, three. Two, three or two? Oh no. Uh, three or two? Somebody else, give me another, give me another number. Three or two? Let's break this. I was driving home and my phone is linked to my truck. Okay. I was driving home and my phone is linked to my truck. Somebody pick a number please. So we can get this accompanying escorting. Lol, did turtle sex play while driving? Three. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Window was down and I pulled up next to a guy while you shouted vampire. <laughs> Gave him a what's up no <laughs> Typical I like vampires. Frickin' hell. <laughs> Frickin' hell. Hmm. Phone still linked to truck? Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Frickin' hell. <clears throat> Hope it is. Smooth. Call it the cinema is a classy move. What? what are you up to, Fluff? All I heard was two or three. 
Oh, that's all good. We're we we're picking um for a thing. We did three. Enclosure one, two tickets to Vampire Crusade two. Evil never dies, which I'm sure you will find both titillating and enjoyable. So I chose three. Yeah, no, that's all good. Oh god, how do we end it with best wishes, hard daps, namaste? We'll carry on. We'll carry on. Tit tit titillating. Tatillating vampire titties. Okay, best wishes, hard daps, namaste, we'll carry on. Got a four. What the heck and how Aegis? Why are you all tipping? If you wanna do something, we got we we we, we got the we got the we got the charity happening. How about a charity? We're dicks. fine, we're we're fine dicks. We're fine dicks. Namaste's. Just kidding, four. We'll carry on. And then I sign my name, my full name, fancier that way. Matthew Woods. <gasps> I forgot my name's in Matthew Woods. <laughs> yes, it's linked, but I rolled up <laughs> I rolled my windows up. Again, we would rather y'all donate that money. Yes. Thank you, please. Please thank you. Is that o is this okay? Is Amanda reads over my sloppy handwriting? Oh my lordy! It is, it is like a two toddlers fight over crown. No, I'm just kidding. Matthew Woods. Hmm. You spelt his name wrong. <laughs> what? Hmm? Nah, just trying to keep you on your toes. Now all we have to do is seal it and put it in his mailbox. I just bit my tongue. You just bit your tongue. <laughs> Are you okay? What were you? Why were you asking if anyway? Can I seal it can I seal it with tape? That's not authentic enough. I have an idea. I'll be right back. Mandalay's room returns with a candle, a lighter, and a small piece of wood. You gotta have wax seal. She lights a candle which starts to burn down and form a pool of melted wax. I was eating chocolate. Oh, where's my chocky? Because you can, because you can eat just hmm. Um what's that other thing? Amanda pours some of the wax onto the folded letter and expertly presses a small piece of wood into it. She lets it dry for a second and pulls the wood away, revealing... Here it is! Your sigil! A little kitten with a bow on its head. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Here, you can have some if you... if you came to me. If I came to you. No, nah, so it's alright. You, you eat it for me. Scrapbooking stuff always comes in clutch. Well, I guess all there is to do is deliver it to his doorstep now, huh? Oh, I thought we were getting a carrier pigeon to do it. Hmm. I already called my guy. Hmm. I have a pigeon guy. Oh, frick my days! They gave me a fright! This one's for you, H. Not sorry, Bunny. Sorry. That was cryptic, though. Sorry, Bunny. Frickin' hell. They gave me a frickin' frog! <laughs> I was. Oh, okay. Oh lol, it's coming! <laughs> it's coming alright! I, I can't, I'm not gonna read then. Don't get your pigeons from Anthony. It's definitely coming. You two playing something? I'm not reading the thing now while this is going. This is this is my jam. I must say it is my jam. Hentai. I was just being generous. Cool as though. No, it's all good. It's fine. I already finished. You're fuck that was quick. Okay, we're at the house. Mission accomplished. Obviously.
Waiting games. Going to the movie to watch hentai by sounds of it. I mean, vampire tatties. Oh, that's a lot of freaking reading. How to do. There he is. There's Damien. I jump at the sound of his voice and turn around to see Damien right behind me. He almost gave me a heart attack. How long were you there for? Oh! 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 He gave a moan of... Oh! The frick! No get. Hentai hot train. Here we go. No gay. And yeah, I can see you, Trina. You freaking do the same thing. Oh my god, you guys are crazy. I love you all. Was that thunder? Is it gonna rain soon? Didn't hear anything. What? Shall we take our seats in the cinema? We're going to the cinema listening to this. It's gonna pay me some salaries! Let's do it! Oh, they're gonna do it! They're gonna do things! Oh, there's another voice behind us! Ugh, my dad's here. Turn around, find Lucian standing a few feet behind us with a gaggle of other goth kids. Got the booty! Got the crying! Got the crying! Oh, fucking hell, how many are there? How nice to see you. I didn't know you were coming to the theatre. I'm glad you're spending some quality time with your friends. Whatever, Dad. <laughs> what movie will you be attending tonight? My friends are making me see a kids' movie about talking animals. I don't really care about it. I do hope you enjoy it. We're going to the Vampire Crusade 2. Evil never dies. Haha, <laughs> the name works! Poor Damien walks up and all you can hear from our headphone is HENTAI?! <laughs> For fuck's sake, what? Ha ha ha, the name works. What? What name? What? I can't hear anything! <laughs> Fluffy wuffy snuffy hoya! <laughs> Oh my god! That's what chat's saying. It went nuts and then I freaked out Rim. This is a remix? I thought she was attacking me. That's a lot of pressure on my name. She actually opened the door for my tent. Oh shit. We made sure we were hiding the tent together. Oh my god. Also, if 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 it wasn't level five, it's Brooke's fault. Oh my god! Well, that bit kind of mushed up with um, the shout. Fluffy! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the 69 bits, <laughs> I guess we had the first go in 40 minutes. I just spat my drink out! <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess the 69 bit sound worked. Yeah, it did. Hello! <laughs> Good luck with it. Boom, 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 shuckle Good luck with what? Yep, now I gotta increase it. Ah. Damien's nervous! I wonder why. Was that all? Nope. 
There is another one. I can feel the pain in Damien. You feel his pain? Okay, is everything okay? Vampires, huh? The movie hasn't even started yet. My vampy boy! Just found a whole heap of Pokemon cars just sitting in the door trim of a customer's car and they're half fun. No! Poor Etronol. <laughs> it's alright. There we go. It's all good. These guys are crazy. Boom shakalaka. I am so uh, excited for this film. I'm a devoted patron of the art, especially a scary art. So the scarier the art, the better. Do you have a favourite horror movie? I... Of course I have a favourite horror movie. Mine is Halloween Town. Terrifying. What's terrifying is those half fuck cards. Are you afraid of horror movies? Must be joking. I love horror movies. Oh. Ah! He just screamed in my ear! Ah! I'm probably just thinking about something far scarier in this movie, which is not scary at all. Oh! Now flash across screen and bloody letters of Empire Crusade 2. Evil never dies. Power man with long silver hair, glittering red eyes, and well oiled abs sits up in a coffin. Oh my god, well oiled abs. Awake in my coffin. Two more vampires slide the tops of their stone coffins onto the floor. Is, is this a horror or is it something else? Yes, husband, but also mortal enemy at his time. What kind of vampire shit is this? For the vampire crusade. Oh my god. Dicks! Dicks! Get the dicks. Oh. Fly off, cryptic gave me his dicks. <laughs> Oh, and boobs. My Wi-Fi cut out. Oh, no! Don't make Fluff jealous. Foreboding, or oh, what? Foreboding organ music plays in the distance. I had a lot of music playing in my ear holes. Alright, I somehow get lost in the movie. As dumb as it sounds, it's actually a pretty fun ah. flick. God! There's like little jump moany sounds and everything. Get the tense mo moments of the movie where Romulus Trueblood sits at a truce meeting with the general of the human army whose wife Romulus has fallen in love with. Penis! Oh, I gotta get my drink. Not a penis, a drink! I forgot to grab my drink. Romulus is good to finally meet you. Is it because the thirst is real? Thank you. General, I agree. It's good to finally blood you. Blood you? Blood you? Right. Got a bounce bunny. Have to get go get some shoes and pants. We'll work dinner coming up. Take care, much love. I guess I forgot to let penis come through. Making a penis drink? Oh good, have a good one. And have a good work dinner thingy. Gonna be fancy. What?
Oh, what the fuck was that? A crab rave. Damien, poor Damien. Romeo sleeps out as out and slashes the general's throat. Blood splatters over everything, including the camera. Oh, oh! the sounds. Damien screams again, Ref <laughs> reflexively grasping my hand. I immediately blush, forgetting about any vampires or blood or vampiric blood. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Damien retracts his hand and places it back on his lap. I was writing a novel in my head about blood magic and I got to an extremely scary section. <laughs> it's so adorable! I don't know if it's the long hair or goth aesthetic, but damn, Damien. Hey, friend, how are you? Hey, uh. How's it going? How are you? Eight pool, eight pool, pool. Do I have the points thing and all that in here? Speaking of, speaking of things, does that work? <clears throat> Do you want to check that out? I'm still like adding like little command thingies and what have you. Uh, Damien goes back to quietly stretching over the movie. I guess not. I guess it doesn't work. Does gamble work? I don't know. It's kind of cute that he won't. Nope, sweet so is. We'll fix that up. It's kind of cute that he won't admit that he's afraid of it. Yeah, I need to get those whippings started. Um, I wish he would hold my hand again. Maybe I could do something to try and make him feel more comfortable. Give him a smoochy, smoochy cuddle waddles. Uh, my baby, my baby daddy Damien is secretly baby. Test. Nope. Okay, they're not working. <clears throat> Uh, I've got it. I'll do what all dads do best. Talk during the, the movie. So, <clears throat> are we going to tell a dad joke? Point out plot hole. Ask what's happening. Oh dear. A daddy joke. A plot hole. Or ask what's happening. Bastard. Okay, I'll try and fix it later. Oh good. I mean, I did, I, I, I did work on that uh, chat box. So I could try and do it on that. And just add it to the thing. Then I can whip you all! What? Um, do I want to tell a dad joke, a plot hole, or what's, uh, what's happening? Toasty, you're invested. What do we do? A plot hole. Never mind, Cryptic chose a plot hole. Did you notice how that guard of fired seven bullets but his gun only had six bullets mm. yes that is absolutely unforgivable from a filmmaking standpoint it's almost unwatchable it's funny how it's so much easier to point out tiny mistakes in the work of others than it is to actually go create your own thing huh hey look that's an <laughs> what an anachronism anachronism do you want to play with me what Wait, what? Oh, you're playing eight ball pulse. Oh my god. I missed that whole thing and I was like, what? <laughs> when in doubt, pick a hole. When in doubt, pick a hole. Oh my god. Um, I don't play the um, eight ball pool. I used to like play real pool. I'm better at playing pool when I'm intoxicated. Uh, the rest of the movie goes by relatively smoothly with only a few whimpers from Damien. Maybe he would have liked the romantic comedy better. Uh, we get to the final scene of the movie where Romulus, Bad Blood and the General's wife embrace each other in his crypt. They're embracing. It appears that the true vampire crusade was the vampire crusade in our hearts. Our cold unbeating hearts. Stream's lagging. No! Not the leg. Not the legging of the stream. Romulus and the General's wife begin making out hard. Oh my god! Steamy! The film fades to black and the end appears on the screen. But then it hard cuts to Demetrius and his rival lover, Carmella, who watch the two from afar. Oh no! Twist ending. Our bloodline has been pure for a thousand years. Romulus has betrayed us by loving a human woman. It will only be a short time before... The next vampire can say three evil must die again. More thunder, more ominous, 
organs. The movie fades out again and a bloody question mark now accompanies the end. Damien and I walk out of the movie theatre amidst throngs of chattering moviegoers. He's a little more pale than I remember, but otherwise he survived the encounter. He even seems kind of invigorated. What an interesting film. <laughs> well, the <clears throat> well, the premise immediately struck me as a pedestrian. I was intrigued by its harrowing love story and great attention to detail in regards to vampiric lore. Yeah, it was pretty good. A lot more vampire titties than I thought there would be. A lot more vampire titties! Oh. <clears throat> Come, the night is young. Let's take a stroll. Oh, we're going for a stroll. Boobs. We're going for a stroll with the boobs. My god. So much talking. Dehydrated. Hmm. Okay, I gotta add titties and titties to my freaking list. Titties! Okay, Damien is making a point out of not telling me where he's taking me. Still, I'm enjoying the walk in the cool night air. Being alone here with Damien is a lot better than being in a crowded theatre. He's gonna take my blood! He's gonna bite me on the neck! Stupid auto mod. A lovely night, isn't it? <laughs> as lovely as the company, yes. Oh, yes. He thinks I'm lovely! Damn, okay, here comes the smooth response. Thanks. Cool. Okay. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, my stream came back to Bun Bun saying a lot more campfire titties. Vampire titties. Thanks. Cool. Okay. How do we respond? <laughs> we respond with a bear, apparently. A bear. One, two, three. Somebody give me a number! One, two, three! I wanna get some squirts! Oh, we got some hearts! No problem. Oh. Crushed it! We both stand there feeling a little awkward. I am sh- I sure am one smooth operator. Oh, sorry, Moonbee. I do like the first one that pops up. Cause sometimes it can take a while. Um, are you getting a little hungry? We could maybe stop off and grab something to eat. Worry not, friend. I have a plan. We turn the corner and greeted by the gates of a cemetery? What? Are we going in there? Oh. A little bit of Victorian flavor, Matthew. Trust me. Oh my god. Are we gonna do it on somebody's grave? Uh, I'm a bit... I'm a bit nervous, but Damien hasn't led me wrong yet. I follow his lead as we walk into the cemetery. Statues of angels stare down at us as we follow a path through the faded tombstones. The ghosties get dickin' down too! As we, crest a, as we crest a small hill, we get a beautiful view of the city. The night lights sparkle around us. I go to hand to him for being in a cemetery. This is strangely romantic. Panicking in graveyards is an old Victorian tradition. An appropriate finish to an evening after a vampire movie, wouldn't you say? With a flourish, Damien produces a blanket and picnic basket. Wait, where were you hiding that? I was just thinking the same thing. Where did, where did he pull out a blanket and a picnic basket? Under my cloak. Oh right. He was carrying it the whole time? Under his cloak? Damien, let me put this- <laughs> Let me pull this out my eyes! Damien unfolds the blanket, we both sit down, gazing out at the city lights. He produces a bottle of red wine and a fine selection of cheeses. We get the cheese! In a Victorian era, there were no public art galleries, parks or botanic gardens to speak of. Once rural graveyards became a more popular alternative to church burials, they became the only place that people could see beautiful plant life and find sculptures. That makes sense. This is pretty nice. Damien, Damien. I have a question though. How are you so okay with being in a graveyard, but you had terrible handling a scary movie? Oh my. Uh, I wasn't 
He sighs deeply. Okay, yes, I was extremely scared by that movie. <clears throat> I was not writing a book about blood magic in my head. I just have never been good at those. I just feel as if because of how I look and act, people expect me to love horror films. So I must play the part. Truth be told, I don't know if I have the constitution for them at times. This will put my basket cooled. Damien, I'm so sorry. If I had known, I would have suggested another movie. Mm. It's quite alright. I actually did find myself enjoying this one, thanks to your help. Or is the cheese weirdly melted? <laughs> I know, it sounds like it's getting hot in here. Graveyards, however, I think there's something rather beautiful about death. Cemeteries are traditionally built away from cities, away from the realm of the living, and it keeps us rather separated from it. Oh. God. Floof here. Um, to acknowledge death and become comfortable with it, I think, gives us a certain intimate knowledge of ourselves. To sit amongst generations of those who came before us, to be truly alive in the midst of so much death brings me great comfort. Is he gonna kill us? Death helps me appreciate life, to savor every second. We sit and enjoy our food and wine. I don't feel scared anymore. Never thought I'd be comfortable sitting alone in a graveyard at night, but I actually feel very peaceful. Oh. Suddenly, it doesn't seem like we're alone. Off in the distance, I see a shadowy figure in the trees. What is that? Oh. I'm not sure. It noticed us. I'm paralyzed with fear as it begins lumbering slowly towards us. Its shape taking a more animal form, more feral. I look to Damien for help, but he's just as afraid and transfixed as I am. I want to scream, but it's stuck in my throat. The creature is getting closer, moving faster. Oh. Woof! <laughs> Woof! Oh. <clears throat> That's a dog. Look at that doggy! As it finally comes into the light, the friendliness, the friendliest, dumbest little Boston Terrier I've ever seen pulls its owner towards us. The dog trots over to Damien and sniffs at his hands. Damien looks ecstatic. He ruffles the dog's fur happily. What a beautiful dog. Hey, we both look up not expecting to see. Thanks, Robert. Two pussy, what? Two pussies sitting in a graveyard, both loving doggies. Oh my God. Oh my God, Toasty. Robert, what are you doing out here on this lovely evening? <clears throat> it's Daddy Robert. Well, you said you were you wanted to see either Robert or Damien. Well, you got both. You got both of them, and a dog. Hunting cryptids. What? What? I didn't know you had a dog. This isn't my dog. I found her wandering in the street. I put a leash on her, and now we're walking around this graveyard together. Hunting cryptids. Damien and I share a look. May I give her a treat? Sure. Wouldn't give her cheese though. Uh -huh. Not to worry. Damien reaches into the depths of the cloak and procures a small dog treat. What else is he keeping in there? What the hell? Doggy is way better daddy than both of them though. He pulls out a picnic basket and a blanket and now a dog treat. I don't know what else is in there. The dog laps up the tree and crunches away, tail wagging furiously. Damien continues to smooth down her fur. Man has bag. <laughs> what man has bag of holding in his pocket? <laughs> Thanks. Oh. My absolute pleasure. Damien shakes the dog's paw. Lovely to meet you, my friend. May our paths cross again. Robert and his dog disappear into the darkness again. Damien stares after them. I didn't know you liked dogs. <laughs> Victorians love dogs. Actually, most Victorian women of high fashion would always be accompanied by a small dog, such as a terrier or a Maltese. I uh, think big dogs are nice too. Yeah, man, dogs are cool. I do believe we've had enough excitement for one night. 
What say we make our way home? I love the dog. You love the dog. Damn it, Damien, just say you love dogs. <laughs> Damien hops to his feet and extends a hand to help me up. I gladly take it as my knees aren't what they used to be. He packs up his picnic basket and leads us out of the graveyard. As we begin to walk home, I take one last look at the cemetery. It really is beautiful. Hmm. Like a proper gentleman, Damien walks me to my doorstep. Oh. Thank you ever so kindly for your company tonight. Damien, it was my pleasure. Matthew, if you'll allow me, it would bring me great joy to offer you a token of my affection. Oh, oh we're going back into that cloak. Damien reaches into his cloak and pulls out a folded monogrammed handkerchief. He presses it into my hand. He giving me his handkerchief from his frickin' cloak of magic. Gib kiss. Gib big smooch. Prison pockets are like Mary Poppins' bag. <laughs> wow, thank you, Damien. Oh god. I will use this to dry my tears for those I've lost. I can't wait to sneeze on this. I'm gonna wave this as passing ships. Oh my god. What are we gonna do? Wipe our tears, sneeze in it, or wave it at passing ships? Damn it! That's not a smooch. <laughs> hey, if we pick the right one, maybe we'll get smoochies. One. Oh! Oh, we got this! Oh! We got that squirty eggplants of love! Oh! Oh, he liked it! A noble purpose. Oh, we got the moody! We got the moody in chat! Moody! Damien shuffles his feet. I just want to say that it's rare to find someone like you. Someone who's open to my... Big long words, but he can't speak. Eccentricities. Sorry if I butcher it. I'm not good at word. It's nice to feel so accepted. Um, thank you. Damien gives my hand a quick squeeze. Get a kiss. Give the body. <laughs> Smooch the boy. Oh my god. You guys are cracking me up. Damien blushes and hastily retracts his hand. Oh, he's such a shy boy. Uh, I must take my leave. Good night. Before I can say anything else, he's gone. Oh, he's so shy. Huh? I unlock the door and step inside. Like a whirlwind, Amanda runs from the window and plops down on the couch trying to look non nonchalant. Oh. Baby Damien. Hey Dad, what's up? Were you watching me from the window? No, I was just, uh... Okay, yes. How was the movie? What's the vampire titties? Vampire titties! Yeah. Told you. But as it turns out, Damien is... Wait, Amanda doesn't need to know that. I'll keep it between me and Damien. Scary cool. Yep, he's so cool, it's scary. I say, Matthew. Did you know that graveyards used to be the place to throw parties? I think I'm misremembering that. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty punk. Also, we saw a dog. Definitely thought it was a werewolf for a minute, though. How can you be so sure it wasn't a werewolf? Vampire dudes! How can you be so sure I'm not a werewolf? And how can I be so sure you're not a werewolf? The man's eyes narrow. I don't trust you. Nor I you. We make intense, weary eye contact for a second. Anyway, I'm calling it for the night. Don't stay up too late, will ya? I'll try not to howl at the moon past midnight. Okay. Are we going to get a good score? The date's complete. How did we know? Oh, but rank S. With the works of Corey Feldman, he simply slayed the Lost Boys. Slayed. Oh, we got a rank S. We did well. We did well. Fuck yeah. Damien could be the one. Well, it's been a long day. I made that date. You did. 
Well, it's been a long day. I'm just about to ready. Uh, I'm just about ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall to my room. Woo, Damien, give me that ass! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I wonder if a man's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. As I pass her room, I can hear a faint sound. I can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she crying? I knock gently on the door. Hey Amanda! The crying immediately stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strained. She sniffles. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. <laughs> in the dark I can see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed. Knees hugged up against her body. Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it! Did something happen or leave her alone? Do we talk to Amanda or leave her alone? Hmm. You decide. One? One? Did something happen? No! Nothing happened! Go away! <clears throat> I believe. You believe. We've got to ask again if anything happened or to leave her alone. She don't want to talk about it. I also have children in the background. Should we keep asking? Should we keep asking what happened? Anyone has ideas? Ah, oh, just go for it. Just go for it. We'll get through this. I got the kitties in the background just talking about going over crayons and a bit. I'll just do it. Amanda, get out! Okay, okay. <laughs> I quickly leave your room and shut the door behind me. Once the door closes, I can hear her crying again. I, d I, 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 I pushed it. Well, what has her so upset? She seemed fine earlier. She shouldn't so open with me. Did I do something wrong? Is she mad at me? I guess if... She wasn't before, she definitely is now. I can't even remember the last time she snapped at me like that. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. About 10 minutes before... She's supposed to leave. Amanda comes out of her room and makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster, slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school today? Oh. No. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Amanda pulls the toaster lever up and takes her still frozen burnt waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. Amanda picks up her bag and storms out. Ow! Fuck me, that hurt my ears. Holy shit. <clears throat> oh, okay. I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully, this blows over and things are back to normal soon. <laughs> I sit back at the kitchen table and look at the picture of Amanda and I hanging on a wall. In it, I'm teaching her to ride a bike. Her face is a mixture of excitement and pure, unadulterated fear. Adulterated fear. I remember how determined she was. Lol, well, just walk through the door. Brobe says, what's up? What's up? Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. Then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages and wanted to keep trying. No. Oh. As I pulled, as I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her for ice cream, and it was like nothing even happened. After giving it a bit of thought, I decided that if I force her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. I start rummaging around for ingredients. I hear Amanda walk in the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does, she makes a beeline to her room. She's clearly trying to avoid me. 
Hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I wanted to say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong. And I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I... So, just whatever it is, and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants to you to be happy. Oh. Honey, you know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting has set by now. Oh, cake! Ta-da! Dad. Oh, look at it, so cute. Sorry you're sad, but I support you 100%. It took me a really long time because I ran out of red frosting somewhere around sad. And had to start over oh. and... This is beautiful. A strawberry. Amanda gives me a big old hug. I grab some plates and forks and serve up some delicious cake. Ooh, cake. I need that cake. I need the cake. So, it's really stupid. What is this whole thing? I know I've been really weird lately and there's just... I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? Uh. I guess I should start from the top. So you know how Emma R's are going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R. The one who puked in dead Gotham Beyond. The best friend. The other one. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Why did you have to have fr two friends or whatever named Emma? Oh, crack. Dead Gotham Beyond, the best friend, the other one. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, don't don't Google it. Don't Google it. Don't Google it. I'm just going with whatever answer comes first. Don't Google. <sighs> I guess you're not technically wrong. Four? There was an option four? Sixty-nine. Daddy. My phone isn't working. It's okay. Don't, 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 don't worry about Googling. I've got to try and guess the stuff. It's good to have fallbacks like that one. Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spreading a lot more, spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while. But then I found out from Rosie M... That both the Emma's Grace and Noah all went to a party at Mackenzie F's. On the same night, they all told me they were busy studying for the Calc AB final. Yikes. Aww. So, another important piece of information is... Uh, God, this is embarrassing. I, um, have a crush on Noah and, uh, that's a thing. What? Whoa! I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that. Okay. You're a bad liar. So are you. I learned from the worst. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was Emma R. And she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama. So I just keep quiet and keep going out of... Going about my business. Men's size. Oh gosh. There are more people with last names. Boys replenish. Replenish the voice for you. No, Amanda. And then one day I invite everyone out to get nachos at the mall. And after not texting me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they all say they're busy like simultaneously. So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips and I really wanted... And I really, really wanted nachos. Totally understandable. Dad. So I go to the mall anyway. I get to the food court and who do I see there? But Grace, Emma P, Emma R and Noah all hanging out together and eating nachos without me. What? Aww. It gets better. 
I'm standing by the escalators watching them and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. No! Hey, legendary platter. Welcome on in. How are you? We're just going through some dream daddying and talking to our daughter right now after our date with Damien. Yes, I know. So I storm over there and I'm like, hey! And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt because, of course, she does. And Emma R just like glares at me. Oh, what meanies. Legendary. Grace. Grace. Nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is the boring one. Gossipy one. Does she poop the bed too? Those ain't friends. No. They're not friends. Man that deserves better. You want me to choose did she poop the bed too? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. No dad. Please stick with me. Five fingers to the face. Fuck those bitches. Yeah. Grace is the one nobody really likes. Or I guess that's me now. But anyway, sorry Toasty, I got through it. Cryptic wanted the poop. Anyway, nobody will say anything and I'm just like, you guys suck. Which I realise is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry and really embarrassed and I wanted to get out of there. Okay, got a loosey goosey. It's my little stretchies. Oh. And toe reach. And one side. And two sides. Ugh. I'm all loose. I'm all loosened up. They should have been embarrassed. I'll let everyone else pick now. You just wanted to poop. And I just wanted to get out of there. Okay, yep. So I left without nachos, might I add. Which only further contributed to the shitty day. And immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat. Asking them why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to MR. Asking how long the Noah thing has been going on. And I'm sorry. I know that's a lot. You still following? They, well I would of five fingers to the face. Those two faced a -holes. Oh my god, Trina. Bala, boom, boom. What did Emma R say? I'm a little confused, but I think I understand. I have no idea what's happening. Lol. Which one are we doing? What did the Emma R say? Or are we confused? Or I have absolutely no idea what's going on. One. Okay. Oh, okay. Get a load of this. Emma R says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. Amanda pulls out her phone and reads word for word an orderlessly long string of text hmm. messages. Can you believe that? I can believe that. I cannot believe that. Can or cannot? Because I have no idea what they said! <laughs> can you believe that? I cannot believe that. Man, I will fight for Amanda's. I might as well. I cannot. I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's talking about? This is all beyond me, but I am trying my hardest to be supportive. Oh, no. They were dating in secret for like months. So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend and she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on read. And then... Wait. Left me on read? What's that? Oh, like... She saw my message and didn't reply. And I know because there are read receipts. I don't know what read receipts are, but I'm gonna nod and pretend I understand. Exactly me. Gotcha. So while this is all happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am because she's at least been kind of reasonable and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am at everybody and stuff. Uh -huh. And then out of nowhere, Noah texts me and is like, how could you say that about me? And I'm like, say what about you? 
And he tells me that MP sent screenshots of everything. I told her to the group chat that I got kicked out of. Oh shit. Alright, I think he lost me at screenshots, but that definitely sounds bad. There's so much more, but honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is that everybody dropped me, half of my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. Amanda. I am so sorry. I always expected it from everybody else, but... <sighs> Emma Ara's been there since mom died. I can't even... I can't believe turtle sexes. Yep. Oh. Those guys are ace holes. Yes, they are. They get a whole bunch of turtle sex up the butthole. Right, um... Sorry about that. <laughs> I just saw turtle sex and assholes all in one. If I was been there since mom died, I can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Amanda stabs at the remnants of her cake. But I do feel Amanda's pain right now. Yeah. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. Like, what did I do wrong? What did everyone- why did everyone just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. And as mad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. Amanda looks so dejected, I almost can't take it. What could I possibly say to help? Oh, no. Anyways, that's it. That's the whole sordid tale. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Wow. I know, it's pretty dumb. It's kinda dumb. It's not dumb. It's kinda dumb. It's not dumb. Kinda not. Kinda not. Kinda too much talking. Oh. No, it's a stupid thing to be upset over, too. Yep. Cancelled! Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long time ago. But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. What? Kank? Kank the Emmas. Man, is this what I got to look forward to when my daughters get older? Hey. We do too, man. <laughs> We're gonna have to go through that as well. We're in the same boat. Oh my god. And you can hear them in the background too. Uh, yes. Not all friendships last forever. Real friends don't do that. High school sucks. What do we do? One, two, three. Yes. You do have to look forward to it. Oh no! <laughs> the dreaded, oh no! Real friends don't do that. Holy moly! When you get older you start realising the sort of people you want. A mission failed. People, you want to fail a mission, associate yourself. Fail a mission? <laughs> Sort of people you want to associate yourself with. Do you really want to surround yourself with people who would do something like that to their friend? It takes a lot of work to find and maintain meaningful friendships. Oh my god, really? They're douches. I'm currently feeling Manda's pain. That's why I've been so active with you guys. It's all good. It took me a long time to figure that out myself, and I wish I had learned it sooner. If the other person isn't putting the effort in to show you how much they care, it's not worth it. You're not beholden to being their friend. Phone calls. Uh, I currently feel like pain. Yes, I read that. Um, ultimately, I think this says way more about the character than it does about yours. Because you're amazing. And if they can't see that, well, that's their problem. 
I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Did we just eat the whole cake? Starts dancing to ringtone. <laughs> yes, we did just eat the whole cake. Well, good talk. Amanda gets up to go to her room. Before she closes the door, she turns around. Hey, Pops. Yes. Huh. Thank you. You're always welcome. Love you, Amanda. I love you too, Dad. Yes, we did eat the whole cake. Oh, gotta love you too, Dad. Six. Oh! Frickin' hell! Welcome. You've got dads. Bloody dicks! Oh, we got a message. Got a message from Matt. How rude. I want some of that cake. <laughs> hey, Matthew. What are your feelings about poker? Beyond hardly knowing her. Welcome. You've got dads. Poker. I hardly know her. There it is. Well, good talk. Wait, I actually like poker. I just saw the joke and I had to take the shot. Please, Matt, I'm a dad. I'm constructive. <laughs> I'm constructually obligated. Are, there, are they better than my dads? No, no, I get that. Anyways, I've been playing weekly poker games and I figured I should send an invite your way. This sounds great. I love losing money. Cool dude. See you soon. Lose that money. Wait, no. They aren't dads. They are daddies. Yes, they're daddies. <laughs> Dad tip 60. Never give up. Never remember. <laughs> Oh, bloody dicks, huh? Bunny, you naughty. <laughs> Why? Why am I naughty? Penis! Cryptic just penised me at the same time. Ow. Hell's jabbing me. Ab. Uh, Matt invited me to a park at night at Joseph's house. I put on my outgoing coat and walk over. Across the way, I spot Matt who's walking over from his own house. He's got a case of beer under his arm. Crap, I should have bought something. Going out, coat. Cryptic just penised me. Hey, uh. Yep. Hey, man. Crap, I should have bought something. Ha, <laughs> 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 ah, no worries, man. It's your first time. Just bring a full wallet. How long have you guys been at this for? Years, buddy. It's just a nice way to keep in touch with the guys. It's never really high stakes. We pass through the fence and close Joseph's backyard. One more, One more time. Craig, Brian, and Joseph hover around the patio, drinking beer and chatting. Robert sits in the corner brooding as usual. Matthew, glad you can make it. One more time. Hello! I'll be lurking while working. Well, thank you for your worky lurky Euro tender. Hope work is going well for you. Oh shit, it's Craig. It's Craig! We went on a run with Craig. Hmm. Oh, that is. How does it not Go. You play in a Resident Evil 2. So many Rizzies everywhere. Crap, and I'll make me act up. I did this whole route. Route. I did his whole route. His whole route. Oh my god. I like how it does like the music changes. Alright, so am I. I'm psyched to take all your money. You did his root? Sure! She did nothing. Just like old times, Craig's the resident shark. We prefer the term person who's good at poker. Look at 
What? Look at this Giga Chad mofo. <laughs> oh my god, it's an up. We are on date four already for that? Yes, I did do his route. Or are you a hairdresser? Oh my lordy. <laughs> um, I got invited to a poker game. With the boys. With the daddies. Poking those... Poker game with those daddies. Oh my freaking hell. Watch the words. I'm well aware Craig's always been suspiciously good at poker. Oh. Poke those daddies. Sorry for silence, bunny. Gonna go sleep. It's alright, noogies. You get sleeps, you get the rests, and you get better, okay? Big loves to you. Sleep well. Get all oh, the wellsness. But good night, people. Have a good day, yo. Oh, good. Have a good sleeps. Oh, that's confusing. Matthew and Matt. I know! Well, everyone chose Math to call my character Matthew Woods. <laughs> Are you still as terrible as you were in college? Poker face, tell the truth. Poker face, tell the truth. Baba, -ba, that's how Steve Wilsey's encrypted. Should have called him Richard Woods. Hey! We, we, I was waiting to see what kind of names they were. But we ended up with a Matthew Woods. One, a poker face. Hey, it wasn't terrible. I'm not bad at poker. I'm definitely good at poker. What the? Frick, Google? What the hell? Fucking phone set off and tried to set a timer for fucking not being bad at poker. What the hell? <laughs> um Well that was brainy, not Love you Nogo. Love you Nogo work good night. Uh everyone stares at me. Okay, maybe that was a little defensive. Okay, I'm bad at poker. There's no way you're as bad as Joseph. Joseph shrugs. <laughs> this is basically my tithing. I'm giving back to the community. Oh my lordy. Stop the slouchy welchy. Back it up. There we go. This is base. Yep, yep. Wink. <sighs> Wink. 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 I'm out of the replenishing. I'm out of the drink. I started playing a mobile game today that I pre registered for. Feel like it'll be right up your alley. Ooh, what is it? Wink. What? Did you yell at a honey pop at me? You're not allowed to do that on here. I mean, YouTube's fine, but not on here. You can like block shit. <laughs> I think I just missed the, I missed the snacks. I have Dixie. What game? Guess who bought pigs in a blanket? Hi, Dix. If your alley involves idol. Go Idol, Gotchu, Otaku, Anime, Waifus, and Husbandos. I wanna play Hoobie Pop. Hoobie- I wanna play Hoobie Pop! Hoobie Pop! <laughs> Look out! <laughs> it sounds like a pop- like a popper version of freaking Hoonie. No, I don't actually wanna think about that one. Gotchu, Otaku, Anime, Waifus, and Husbandos. That's exactly the type of game she plays. Figure fantasy. Ah, oh, yes, I heard of that one. I've seen some things about it, but I heard of it. Guess who bought pigs in a blanket? Ugh. Well, like something stabbing me in the frickin' side and it's annoying me. Um. Aww. Not Craig. Not Craig, not Craig. Pigs in a blanket is now dicks, is it? Hey, my chia seeds and granola energy balls are just as delicious. Energy balls. <laughs> oh! Penis! Oh. Penis! Everybody's laughing. 
Let's just get the game going. Oh, we got dicks, bowels, and penis. Jesus, it's been one of those nights, is it? We all take a seat at the table and Matt starts dealing cards. The first couple rounds go by easily as I'm getting the hang of things. But it's obvious that Craig is running the show here. Oh my, turtle sexness. Craig, how did you get so good at this? It's pretty easy. You just start getting a feel for everybody's tell, like Matt will scratch his ear. Hey. hey. Brian adjusts his pants when he's trying to lie. He's adjusting his pants? Oh. Now wait a second. Oh. And I think you just loudly announce to the whole room when you have a good hand. Yeah. Yep. That's me. What's Joseph's tell? Everything. Literally everything. That man is an open book. He couldn't lie if he tried. Well, at least I have God on my side. See? You can't even say that with a straight face. What about Robert? Honestly? The man's an enigma. <laughs> Robert raises his glass of whiskey to us in a solemn salute. I think he'd wipe the floor of us if he actually tried. I'm just here because of the, I enjoy the company. Robert pulls out his phone and stares at it. Hello? Robert, is that a flip phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. What are you, a drug dealer now? I... Yeah. What do you need? Horse speed? Taijuana Johnny's? The beta for it opened last mm. night. Oh, nice. I can get you the street stuff easy, but if you're looking for something exotic or designer, it's maybe 72 hours and a favor called. Maybe I won't need you today. Maybe I won't need you tomorrow, but someday. I, I don't really... I think I'm good. Right. Oh. But still. I'm a lonely bird bunny! My bunny twin! Subscribe for three months in a row! Bounce it, bobbies! Look at those booty shakings! How are you? Hi, bunny twin. Yay, boobies! Ah, oh shite! It walked from the rocking chair and then got on its knees and crawled in the back. Oh wow! Got on his knees and crawled in the back, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh! Laugh my ass! Did I scream in your ears? So sorry. Oh nah, it's all right. I mean, I do it to you too. <laughs> Oh, how you doing? Thank you for coming in. Hope you're keeping well. Ah, yes, that sounds dirty. It so sounds dirty. I mean, it's been kind of a dirty afternoon here as well. For realsies. I've been doing all the dirty stuff. Uh, it's been a lot of dicks, boobs, and hentai hype trains again. Like a lot of hentai. It's always a dirty afternoon with you. Exactly. Oh my lordy. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. If you can see like little weird thingies on the screen thingy. Uh, we're doing thankmas for this week. So, there. Cryptic just dropped on the link thing. If you want to go and read about that. Raising some funnies for, um... Was it a Jacksepticeye's Thankmas event and it's going to a new story to help the ho to help homelessness. Nice, doing the daddies. Been doing daddies, doing the daddies. Oh, doing the daddies. I mean, we had another date with Damien. Doing daddies for charity. Wow! You just made me say that! <laughs> No better reason to do the daddies. Boobs. boobs! Thanks, that's enough for the boobs! I dropped my phone in the toilet and this is a backup until I can get it replaced under warranty. Holy moly! Um, sure. 
Yep. 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 Go for it. Yep. There you go. Tell the world for your love of Damien. Everyone murmurs their sympathies. We've all been there. We go back to playing. I really gotta stop eating these pigs in a blanket. They're not pigs in a blanket anymore. Uh, pigs in a blanket? I don't know, but... They're very good. I think there might be cheese in them. Not to mention they got, um, cha the, the names of pigs in a blanket got changed to dicks, and now there's cheese in them! Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh, if, I don't know if I get it, and I don't know if I got enough to raise you on this round. You can always bet your firstborn. Nice. If you think you can handle another one, be my guest. Uh, Briar and Hazel are a handful to say the least. Who's cheesy dicks and a hentai from Bunny Twin? I had to. I'm not sorry. No, you're not sorry. You love it. You love it so much, Lee. This is this will be like the back. The heck are the. Oh, you made me say that. God damn it, cryptic! We'll just let these daddies talk to each other while we listen. What? Dolls poop! I've been sprouting I've been sprouting my love with daddy's all stream. There's a lot of poop in my Oh they're talking about poop! I don't wanna poop on the hentai, holy heck. Oh my lord! Astronaut's been having a whole bunch of this. I'm, I'm still sorry that just out of nowhere I yelled out vampire titties when you parked up next to somebody. Laugh my ass at all the poop. Poop everywhere. Yes, there's poop everywhere. Fake poop, but still. It reminds me of... Wait. Do we all have poop doll stories? Bodie! I don't need any more poop in my life than there is already we just get back to poker and not talk about poop vampire dudes oh no not running out of the pigs in a blanket so we're gonna have to eat craig's balls i just realized what i said these kelp chips are phenomenal we should sell those at the coffee shop don't be sorry. It was funny as. <laughs> it's my own recipe. Oh my god. I'll be happy to give it to you guys. It's his own recipe. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. I see it now. Pierce the kale chips. Pierce the veil is a popular post hardcore screamer band out of San Diego. Ah. We all look at Matt confused. Uh, maybe not in your wheelhouses. I'm back. Sorry, work got stupid. No, you're all good. Just to end it on the hentai things and oh my god, here's the veil <laughs> and the dicks. Was that the summoning of the fluff cryptic? You knew he was coming. I gotta be careful with what I say. How's the shop nowadays? Busy as ever, I'm toying with the idea of hiring on another person to work the counter. But I haven't found a good candidate. I love Pierce the Veil. King for a day. Same. Oh yes. Hmm. If Amanda's looking for a summer gig, let me know. That's really nice of you, but I think she's been burned too badly by coffee shops before. Literally, not figuratively. Matt cocks his head to the side. I'll ask her though. We get down to the final hand of the night and it's Craig in the lead by a landslide. Joseph has long since lost all of his chips and is taken to tidying up. 
refusing any help from the rest of us, Brian deals us all cards. I love that song. Hmm. So what's it going to take for Robert to give a damn on this round? Robert looks up from his half-empty glass of whiskey. Do you really want to unleash the beast? Well, now I'm curious. I've got a long history of being a gambling man, but I'll only do it if you make it interesting. None of this penny chip nonsense. I got a Lily's 18 year old single blend sitting in my closet right now. Was saving it for when the river turns 21, but I'm willing to put it up as collateral. Unleash the beast! Now you're talking my language. He throws the keys to his truck on the table. Jeez! Fluffy with 105! Oh my god! Thank you, Fluffy! Don't need to. We already know you don't need to. Unleash the beast? Why? Yeah, Chris is Why? Let's hear it. Why? Why? <laughs> I can't speak like a cryptic. It's weird. Uh, she's seen better days, but she can still pull a tree trunk out of the ground. Nope. Why? <laughs> Myself and everybody else at the table immediately folds. Deal the cards, bry guy. Well. Are you guys sure you wanna? Mm. You heard the man. Deal. <laughs> of course it says rust. Haha, <laughs> of course it says rust. Is the beast man meat? Oh my god, lol, that clip is awesome. Aussie, hello. How to do? Okay, Brian does the next round of cards. Craig steers daggers at Robert, who casually sips his whiskey. Hello, first time chatters. The rain is back. No, not the rains. Hello, Aussie. How is it going? It's Tim. It's Tim. <laughs> it's like it's Tim. <laughs> So I know what you might be thinking. Robert put his old workhorse up for grabs. His only mode of transportation. At times in his life, his only home. How could he be so sure of his abilities in gambling? I'll tell you right now, Craig. Mm. I wasn't always like this. Mm. I was a lot of... I was a lot like you. Smart, talented, cocksure of my own luck. Great biceps, but it didn't last long though. I lost everything in a game of Pai Gao in the back room of a Shenzhen tea house. On what I thought was a three day business trip, everything gone, clothes, money, identification, you name it. Why, Fluff? Why? How did you do this? It's five minutes, right? Was it five minutes or ten minutes? I can't remember. How long did this one go for? Five. Five, okay. Oh my freaking hell! Oh no, I... Because, like, it's really bright as well. It's, like, not night time or anything, and it's really bright. It's really bright. I can't see shit. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got a five-minute timer. Fuck my days. Oh, fuck my days. Brunilski says hi. Brunilski says hi, hi. I can't see shit. We need it for the game. We need it for the game. Yes, you're ru you're ruining toasters toasters fascinations. Oh my god, the ones with like many many letters that just clashes and I don't know if they're like A's or O's. Oh my god. Alright. Where did I get to? Oh, the next one, right? Lurk up in a ditch near 
Aizu Park and had to make Oh frickin' hell. <laughs> and so it's cause the writing is the writing the writing is white, it makes it harder to frickin' see it. I like squinty as hell. It's like No, no. I, I, even if I, if I grab my phone or whatever, I'm not gonna be able to see these. Hey, cryptic, do you want to read it? Fuck. <laughs> Sorry if I'm like really zoomed up. I have to do it like this. I can't see shit. Um. Fuck sex love. I don't even know where I'm up to. It's all right today. Did you pick posts in chat on Discord? Russ chat Discord. Love, love you are putting a spammer in toast daddy time. No, no. What the hell does that say? How's your what? Let's just wait out the. Let's just wait out the. The what? The timmer. Timmer? Timmer. Tinner. Timer. Timer. Frick's sake. Fluff. I'm gonna floof you up, fluff, fluff. You're. You're. You're fluff and gone. I haven't checked. I haven't checked Discord, but I have. I have to. And. Frickin' enjoy my asshole. What the fuck? Uh, good. Fucking squinty ass fucking shit. You're making me look more Asian than a fucking am. Sorry. I, I am actually Asian, so I can say that. I just had a late night out here without the kids to, uh, a... a a what? A, a Brazilian streak house. Is it? Is it what is it? Steak. Steak. Fuck's sake. Streak house. A Brazilian streak house. I'm so sorry whoever that was. I couldn't read the name because it's like really purple. Was it Brunilski? Frick! <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Now they're just fucking up you in the chat. What? What do you mean? They want you to read it. <laughs> what the f it says I he I I What the fuck is that words? Is that words? A go uh, is this another language? Is this another freaking language? What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah, if I wipe my freaking eyes I see better, right? No, that's not how that fucking works. Damn, bunny, you're more blind than I am. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm freaking blind as fucking hell. I'm basically like putting my fucking face right up into the bloody chest to fucking see this shit. Oh, turtle six. Oh my god! I get to see you again, for fuck's sake. Fucking fluff. Fucking hell, rubbing my eyes and I put my glasses back on. It's like, oh my god, I can fucking see. What? What the hell is an ahi gal? Ahi gal? Ahi gal? So ahi gold and is ahi gold? What? Then the whole party ahi gold? What the fuck is that word? I was about to play Turtle Six. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about what? Fuck! 
Right, can I get a drink before I start there? Because fucking all this reading. Lol, look it up. Look it up off stream. Look it up off stream. Hang on, I've got to get a... I've got to get another drink. Freaking, um, thing. Okay, or you can get it. Is that fuck for me? Yes, that fucks for you, you fucking torturing my fucking vocals. I love you though. Don't hate me, I love you. Shut up. Thank you. Oh, I'm scared. What am I going to see? About being able to see. Okay. I'm so sorry about that Brazilian street house. No, you're not. Okay, maybe a little bit not because that was funny. Gotta go going with the wife to a shop. Okay. You scared, you scared him off. Have fun with the wifey at the shop. He's about to miss the singing. I have to sing for five fucking minutes. Everybody's freaking chat. And when I'm doing and when I'm doing the game, when I'm playing the game. All right, <clears throat> five. <clears throat> I'm ready for the singing now. Are you really bunny twin? Oh yeah. I don't know why it came out like that. <laughs> oh my god. I woke up in a ditch near Jai Zhao Park and had to make my life new from there. It took me three years to beg, borrow, and steal the penis. My way back to American soil. Love my ass off. <laughs> and in those three years, I saw the greatest depths of human fear. Love deeper than I ever had. And lost it all many more times over. Three years to steal a penis sounds harsh. Yes, it does. But that's what Robert had been through. I've seen my own death, Craig. I know how I die. It's not like this. I'm gonna watch the stream while going for a shower. Yes. Am I? Are you? Yes, you are. You're gonna have me singing to you in the shower. Gotta cool off toast. You can't miss this toast. I don't think they're missing this. I'll be there too. So let's make this more interesting. Robert produces the G to his house from his jacket and tosses it on the table. All I have and all I am. Are you prepared to go the distance? Craig wipes the sweat from his brow. He studies Robert's face intently, searching for any sort or towel that he can find. I can't miss. Toast getting a bit heated. Yes, the toast is getting quite toasty. I'm going to go do some of the good stuff if you know what I mean. So see you have a good day. Well, I hope you have a good day too. You legendary platter of fun. Have fun. Robert casually sips his whiskey again. By legendary later, I fold. Oh. Everyone erupts, fine, fine, the whiskey is yours, and that's why you don't dance with the devil. <laughs> so what was it? Were you bluffing, or did you have the cards? That's for me to take to my grave, fellas. <laughs> Next week, boys. Cool. Next week. You got it. Hey. I'll be there. Mm-hmm. Do I say short thing or I almost had a heart attack? Whichever will we choose? Cause I need you now tonight. 
What? I need you now tonight. We're going to hang out with the boys again sometime. This has been very relaxing and I sincerely doubt I will wake up in a cold sweat thinking about it tonight. I need you more than ever. I fucking need you now more than ever. What am I saying right now? I fucking need you now more than ever. What is happening? I don't know. But apparently we're going to hang out with the boys. If you like pee. If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, dun dun dun. You are a pirate, what the fuck is all doing? If you're not into yoga, then you have half a brain. Oh my god, you guys! Keep working on that poker face, Matthew. We'll all say our goodbyes and head our separate ways. All these guys that play with the way I sing things. My Whoa, god. You got and we're back to the lad book for more daddy delicious stuff. Toast is hurting, hurting. And with that fart, we have finished singing. Yeah, blew the vocals away, Crypt. <laughs> oh my god, there you go, B. Jesus Christ, I've been blinded, I've been singed, I've been all the things. <laughs> so no gangbang then, what the fuck? Yeah, you'd like a- you, you wanna get the daddy's fluff? Wanna be a daddy, daddy? Oh, girls just wanna have fun! <laughs> oh my god. No gangbang. Oh god, I think we have to choose another date. But I'm only doing two hours. And it's almost my two hour mark. I mean, I started a little early and late, whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, who are we dating? Damn it! Yeah. Actually, not really one of that girls just want to have fun. Why am I getting sadness? Oh, I know, I know you just came in, but I'm only doing two hours, but we're doing like this whole entire week from the first to the ninth because we're doing a charity or event for Thankmas and helping out the homeless. We've already like hit, we had a goal for 100 and we've already hit that, so now we've got to raise the goal. She was still singing when I hit send. Oh no! Oh, turtle sexing it up! So yeah, we had Fluffster and Tricky and Trina all doing their donations. I'm glad I caught you then. Yeah, no, that's all good. Um, yeah, if you want to like see the schedule and everything that we've got for everyone that is um, helping out with the charity, we have a team. It's Fluffster, myself and... Cryptic, hello! Hello, Colonel Steve! Oh my god! The turtle face pretty close to Ahigal. Ahigal? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look this up and I'm gonna be like, oh my frick, what the hell? Anonymous donated $100. Thank you so much! Holy cow, that's so huge! Oh, was it your little thing for yours? Aww. Ahigal, oh my god, what is happening? But yeah, um, Crypto just dropped the link and everything as well for the uh, Thank Miss event. But yeah, we've already raised, what, a hundred dollars? Our hundred dollar goal, like, already done. Oh my god, the title six! Yeah, you should check out Cuddle Seed too. He's got some cool little charity things as well. He's an amazing guy. Y'all amazing, it, actually. It's been a very fun stream and everything. Like I said, I only do two hours because I do have some other things that I gotta do. Um, are you doing anything tonight? Cryptic's gonna be doing something tonight. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, big loves to you, Colonel Steve. Steve! Um... 
Yeah, Crypt Duck's going to be doing something tonight. I think Fluffy, Fluffy, you're going to be doing your usual, which is 7 Australian, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. New Zealand. We'll go 9 p.m. New Zealand to. Is it broke back rust? Is it broke back rust? But yeah, um, if you're in the Discord, if you're in our Discord or anything, we have a schedule up there. Yes, go watch Steve. He is fucking awesome and does a lot of charity stuff too. He is fucking amazing. But yeah. We've got the schedule in the Discord. We've got the links and everything for the charity in there. So you can have a read about it. I'm still thinking of some things to do depending on goal things or whatever. I mean, I'm pretty much sure I got tortured today anyway. No a, glasses if singing. If we, huh? If we raise a thousand dollars, we'll die my hair. If you raise a thousand dollars, you'll die your hair. Yeah. You've got much hair to die anyway. Mm. Oh, do you dye your beard too? Maybe. The people can pick the colour. Your chest hair? No. <laughs> the people can pick the colour. The people can pick the colour? Yeah, I'll be streaming more current X and not sure afterwards lol going to try sort out the charity overlay and stuff as soon as i get home oh good just give us um give us a shout out shaddy if you need help you with that i mean i i i like rearrange mine during stream <laughs> i move my little ghosty around oh my god don't black out on me game what the hell ass here die his ass here i <laughs> love you guys of course i want to die your ass here no no how do you guys got ass here i'm scared why is Fluff always talking about my ass? Fluffy like the assy. Now get some ass motes. And dicks. A ass motes and dicks? That's all Fluff talks about. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Dick motes. <laughs> a thousand. Jesus Christ. If we got a thousand, I reckon we all should try and do something. Cryptic dying his ass here? No. <laughs> No. But I'm bored of his current ass hair colour. Oh my. Oh. I heard clapping. Oh, thank you, Steve. I'll, I'll, I'll shave it for you then, Flop. Oh, thank you so much for that donation. As I got dicked in my ear. Oh my god. Can we get another shady for Steve? Because he's amazing. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Just anything we can do to help out. Get some get some homes and stuff built for the Stankmas. I'll shave it. I'll shave it for you then. What? Wait, what? You're gonna shave your ass? What? what the fuck? If we get 1,000, I'll do full drag from start to finish of a 5-6 hour stream. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I feel icky. Love you guys. Lots of total stays. Thank you for coming in and thank you for Damien's date. Full drag, huh? For 5-6 hours. Oh, Oh, I like the sound of that. What will Bunny do? Oh yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, that's right, I'm part of this team too. What the fuck should I do? Damien is daddy. Anyway. Well, I hope you feel alright. Okay. <clears throat> I already have to play freaking getting over it anyway because oh. I bought you freaking Rust. I bought you Rust and my consequence for that was playing freaking getting over it. I'm not going- I'm um, no, I do not want to do four hours of fucking getting over it blind. I will probably punch a freaking hole in the bloody computer. Yep. I thought it was a donkey. Oh, so we got a hippo, a horse, and a donkey. Jeez. I don't know. It's a cat. It's a cat. It's a boat. <laughs> well, whatever the fuck it is, it should share those damn cookies with me. Xenomorph. Anyway, whatever you guys think, if, like, okay, so Fluff will go full drag if we hit a thousand gold. 
Apparently cryptic shaving his ass. And dying right here. And dying is here. Oh, and I need something. I need something. Oh, well, we can't shave your asshole on the stream. I know, I was it. Not on stream. <laughs> you can shave your own ass. I can go near your fucking ass. Maybe love. love can toast. Maybe love cryptic a little less. Just kidding. Bye, toasty. Bye, toasties. Love you. Love you too. Right. I need. I need something. If we hit a thousand, I need to think of something. I'll think of something after this. But I gotta go and do some stuff. I don't know if you guys want to raid out to anybody. If you know anybody. Oh. Hold up. Oh, hello. Who we got? You got Pixel. Oh, we haven't got Pixel yet. I'm gonna go attack someone because he always gets like Nip! with me if I ever send anything. You and Cryptic play Fortnite with Cryptic not allowed to shoot and Buddy can't wear glasses. Jesus Christ, I'm blinded as little as the glasses on it. That's for Cryptic's only fans. I need Ah shit, drop my shit. Alright. Um where's my thing? I am trying. Let me. What is this? Okay, I'll have a read of that later. What the fuck? I don't know, some suspicious fucking thing. The user thing. I don't know, it's like a letter. Right, um. Can you do the type thing? Because I was trying to. What is that? We're going to go and raid Jazzy! Jazzy! He's gonna have a spazzy at me! But I like Jazzy. Gotta love the Jazzy. Let's go have a coffee! At the cafe. The Jersey cafe. What's your profanity? Fox only friends. Make sure you got. Make sure you show this guy some love. He's fucking awesome. Yeah, Jersey's absolutely amazing. Great stream. Thank you. And yeah, we'll see you guys to tonight's for fluff and cryptic and tomorrow's and yeah, from the first to the night because today's the first. Oh, I got the same. I think it's about the follow bots and shot. Oh, okay. Yep. Sweet. Bunny's two followers off 200. What? Shush! Shazen! What? Two? What? When? Hell? Why? Okay, let's go. We're gonna go raid Jazzy. Give him hell. Nah, I love Jazzy. See you guys. Peace.